Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over what I do to spot whether I'm getting a scam email and then how you can go about reporting these to your email service provider. So I just got a couple of these the other day. They're both posing as coming from amazon.com, which is going to be pretty typical. These scammers, they're going to send out emails that try to look official coming from very popular websites or sources such as Amazon or Netflix, etc. The first thing that I do is just take a look at the email address where this is coming from. Clearly, this is not an official source of an email address that you would get from Amazon. So that's a dead giveaway. And this person, they put Amazon as the name for this particular email that they're sending it from. The other one was a little bit more clever. So this is the sending email. Again, not an official source coming from Amazon with an email address such as that. But then in the name for their email, they actually put support at amazon-service.com. So sometimes they can actually make it look like it is coming from an official source. And those are the ones that are a little bit more tricky to identify. But at the end of the day, you should never click on account verification or payment verification or anything such as that coming from these types of emails. The only time you should ever click on anything like this coming from an official source such as Amazon is let's say, for instance, you're heading on over to Amazon.com and you forgot your password or something and you're asking to change your password, then you should be expecting that password reset email coming from that particular resource. And that would be a safer situation than just getting an email out of the blue from a company such as Amazon asking you to verify your information. I've never had to verify an account or payment information from a company in an email. So I never click on these types of links. I would always just head on over to the website myself. And again, for this example, I would head on over to amazon.com, log in, to my account and just double check to make sure that everything looks okay in terms of my purchase history. And if you're still really worried at that point, you can always reset the password to your account if you're afraid that somebody maybe was doing something or trying to log into your particular account. But these are just phishing emails. They're looking to get your personal information such as your login, your password, your payment info. The dead giveaway with these two emails is the fact that they're coming from email addresses that have nothing to do with Amazon. This one tried to mask it a little bit better, but again, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be clicking account verification on any email that you're not expecting from these companies that you might have accounts with. So then at this point, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and report the email. So I'm over at Outlook. It's probably different based on what type of email service that you're using, but often there's going to be a menu area here. It's three dots next to each other. I open that up go down and in security options, click mark as phishing. What phishing means is that it's an email that's looking to fish for your personal information. So we're going to click mark as phishing and then click report. And then again, doing the same thing on this other one that tried to be really clever there with putting the support at amazon-services.com in the name of their particular email address. But again, clicking on the little menu here, going down to security options, mark as phishing and then report. And that's what I do to spot scam emails. Again, just a quick recap. You can check the email address to see if it's coming from a reputable resource. You can check the email address and that's a pretty dead giveaway most of the time. But again, I never click on anything in a link in an email that's asking to verify any account information or payment information. If you want to double check on your account, go to the website yourself typing in that particular website into a URL and logging into your account, never through a link in any of those types of emails. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you back here next time.